Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and I've been watching some videos on how to color with the Bic Market markers and I've learned some really neat things and I really like the results that I'm seeing. So I thought I would play around one day. I got this cute little Studio G Hermit Crab uh, stamp from Joann's and there's a whole collection of them and I've put them here on a seat in a CD case. These are all just kind of like ocean themed ones. And there's others as well, at least in my Joann's. And um, I went ahead and stamped him on some watercolor paper. This is what the pack looks like and you can get it in the art department of Joann's and Michael's or you know any kind of art store. Same flats or anything like that. And I am using Memento Tuxedo Black because it doesn't run when you color it. And I'm just trying this image again because I wasn't pleased when I did this one. And I'm stamping on the smooth side <clears throat> first. Okay. So now I'm going to start coloring. I chose three blues. <clears throat> lightest, middle, and then the darkest. And I just started learning this. I'm really not proficient at it yet. But all I'm going to do is take the lighter color and start with that and just color in his shell. And not the center of the flowers because I want those to be yellow so I won't color there and I'm going to cut this out when I'm done <clears throat> so it doesn't matter if I go outside the lines okay we're just gonna color this whole thing I just fell in love with this little hermit crab because <clears throat> my son well, we're both into really into ocean animals and things like that, and he thinks they're just so cute, and I do too. We're the same in that. We're always finding little creatures to be cute. And he would love to have a hermit crab as a pet. I haven't really seen them in pet stores very much. I was going to, we were at the beach last Friday, and I was going to go and check maybe at some stores there to see if they sell them and I used to teach in the classroom and I never had one as a pet I heard they're kind of sensitive and they die and stuff so I don't know what do you think if you know anything about hermit crabs leave me a comment tell me what you think no way or yeah it's kind of fun whatever if you know anything okay I'm gonna move to my second darkest color this is the darkest and I'm just going to go over here and just kind of start along this edge. Okay, and just come in a little bit. Obviously my light source is coming from this direction because my lighter part is on this side. Which makes no sense because maybe I should have done the dark over here because this is where the shadow is on the stamp. Alright, so I just learned something. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my lighter. And just kind of color it in again to blend it. Yeah, I just realized that, and that makes sense now to me. Next one, I will do that. Okay, and then I'm going to take the darkest and just make a little line here.
Not too much. Then we go back to the light one and blend it in. Okay. And that's it. And then I um, can't remember. I think I did color in the centers. Not sure. Go ahead and do that. Let me use this. This one's called Yellow Blaze. They have cute names on them. That will, those will get stickled later. Now I'm going to go with the lightest green and color in <coughs> his little legs. This is a uh, margarita green. Okay. And then I'll take the darkest green, which is forest green. I'm just going to make some little details there. Just a few. And then I'll get my light green again and blend it. Okay. And I think I'm just going to give it a little more here. Just a little bit. And it's great, this paper is not like totally crumbling up or anything on me. It's really good. Go over here and color this part in. Okay, and then my next step is to cut it out and I'm going, I'm going to use my cutter bee. If you're new, yes, you need cutter bees for sure. They really are very good for precision cutting and they have a nice, very sharp tip. So I'm going to take my time and cut this little guy out and then we will come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it, what I'm going to, how I got to this card. Okay, so thanks for watching and come back and watch part two.